Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. We are back to the Isle of Awakening with all of our chickens. <laughs> the random livestock heads with the Green Gardens. We're back, I've got to say this one obedient chicken. Let's go and show Perry. While you lot take care of business here, I'll haul sail and keep an eyebrows peeled for more islands. I've heard rumblings of another enormous one lurking out there in the open seas. Same size as Furrowfield, give or take a fathom. I'm as certain as pirates hate body parts. They come in pairs that this place is inhabited. Maybe you could find some new mates and materials there. Another island like Furrowfield, eh? Sounds like it'll be the start of a whole new adventure. I can't wait to check it out. Give me knees up when you're ready to set sail and I'm anchored here, except when I'm not. <laughs> That's What's that rumbling sound? Oh no, it's Perry's stomach. <laughs> well, look who it is. Perry come to check if we found the fowl. Let's show him the chicken and rub it in his face. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to come back, Zuljan. Did you bring me a cute little chicken? You did? She's blime and adorable. <laughs> Once that girl starts laying eggs, we won't have to eat no cabbages no more. By the way, did Brownbeard tell you about the girl liquor? Wait. <laughs> the girt liquor of an island? <laughs> girl, that's completely different. The girt liquor of an island and looking out on the ocean? Well, I reckon I might know something about it. I remember hearing about one place that were a famous mining metal right out of the ground. A long time ago, the people of Furrowfield used to trade with the folk, swapping veggies for metal and whatnot, till the children of Horgon made us uh, put a stop to it. I ain't never seen no metal with my own peepers. I'd love to visit that island one day and see what the place is like. Oh, Zuljan, I nearly forgot. A letter came for you. Have you read it already? I might look like a sea slug bag, but I keep myself busy every day exploring the local waters. I thought brought the letter back with me on the last Bon Voyage. And here I was thinking I'd rather stay old up on your ship than exchange a single word with the landlubber. You're actually a word exchanger extraordinaire. <laughs> well, Zuljan, the captain went to a lot of trouble to deliver that letter. Aren't you going to check the post box? If it's important news, I'm sure the others will want to hear it. All right. We'll check the post box then, Perry. From Saffron. Dear Zuljan, I trust you're enjoying life on the Isle of Awakening. How is my sister Lillian getting along? The refreshing breeze here on Furrowfield is perfect for cooling freshly baked loaves. Though it <laughs> does little to temper Clayton's newfound passion for building, he is ever the hothead. To give my regards to everyone, ever so sincerely yours, Saffron. Oh, she wrote me a cute letter on some awesome stationery too. <laughs> nice. All right. So, the only thing left to do is make a river. And since we made those chickens, we should... Ah, oh, yeah, we got a quest ready to go here. Let's go to the green gardens. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Zuljan. <laughs> Rosie's calling. While you were away, we finished clearing the dirt out of the way. Now the water can run all the way into the pond, just like we planned. The canal is complete. I thought it was a river. You should run along to find Lulu. She's des desperate to speak with you. Yeah, I bet. I bet she's desperate to speak with me. Uh, let's see here. Probably up top here. We got an ant infestation? Hmm? Let's see, where is Lulu? There she is. Suljin Malroth, you're back. As you can see, we cleared a path for the river while you two were off adventuring. All we need now is some water. Ah, Suljin, just the gentleman I was looking for. Everybody needs me. <laughs> I bring good tidings. Upon further inspection of the intriguing area I mentioned, I stumbled upon a way to make our river even more impressive. However, I'll only reveal my ingenious plan once you take once uh, the little lake project is complete. All right. It's almost time to pour the final piece of the puzzle into place. Let's go, go, go. All right. It's funny the rain didn't fill it yet. It feels like it's been raining forever. Now that we cleared a path for the river, it's up to you to work your watery magic. You know the dirt drill. You know the drill by now, Zuljan. We'll stand in the places we need you to pour water. 
That means all you need to do is tip the bottomless pot out and fill the riverbed. Wow, Zuldin, I already did it. This is brilliant. Not only <laughs> did we have a long winding river, but a lovely pond too. It seems uh, there's a letter waiting for Zuljan, it just said. Brilliant work, Zuljan. This place was once a barren badland without a drop of water in sight. But now, just look at this place. Yeah, it looks pretty good without the rain. Very nice. It's all filled. See all that stunning scenery? It leaves me practically breathless. Isn't nature wonderful? It's blimin' beautiful. Did you know what the best thing about it is? We all built it together. I feel so proud, I think I might cry. Save your tears for later, Perrin, my lad. We're far from finished, I have you know. I have a monumental plan to transform this tiny tickle into a tumultuous torrent. Okay, what you got, Bonanzo? The time has come to put my findings of my investigation to good use and make our river bigger and better than before. Get on with it. You've been going on about this plan for ages. It's high time you put your money where your mouth is. High is the operative word, my dear. Come on, come on. To the top of the cliff, after me, Zuljan. Okay? All right, what's going on, Badonzo? My painstaking investigations led me to believe that the river once ran here, too. Do you see the remains of the riverbed? I deduced that the stream that flowed here once was time ran all the way to the pond at the base of these bluffs. If we could recreate the river of old, why this... <laughs> this scenery would become... An order of magnitude more magnificent. All right, so just more water, yeah? All right. Um, do you see how the riverbed snakes its way downhill between the rocks? That's where our second river shall run. The others will show you where the water must be poured. All you merely have to do is tip your pot. Come, Zuljan, my boy, let the river... Uh, <laughs> something once again. Okay, so... Um, I'm thinking... Okay, uh, let's see. There's a few more spots. I wonder if we got a port where it starts here. Your help is greatly needed. Let's go ahead and pour right here. And start it all off. And I learned something else from doing that. A filter fountain. An instrument that redirects water to rain down from above. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, let's see here. Pour some water here, please. As soon as I change back to the fountain. Alright. That's all full there. Here. She's making a whole lot of noise. Jolly good so, Zuljin, my boy. The river flows swift and true once more. Actually, there's a gap right there, Bonanzo. Hang on, we seem to have counted a little hitch. The water's cool and refreshing. Hold on, let me let me put some right here too. Alright. Thanks to you and your magical pot, the river has been restored to its former glory. But Bonanzo, haven't you noticed? Oh, you haven't noticed. The river of yours seems to have hit rather dead in. I thought you said it was supposed to empty out into the pond. I'm going to have to break it down, I guess. That all looks like dirt anyway. <laughs> when is a wall not a wall, my friend? When it's a tunnel. We merely have to dig out the earth and the river shall flow one way once again to the pond. We could do it after all. We did all the work on the other river. We're excavation experts by now. Indeed, excavating a canal is precisely the way as ex excavating a tunnel. It's entirely exactly identical in every conceivable way. <laughs> Except one. During my inspection, I heard ominous gurgling noises coming from within the rock. It could signal danger. Danger, you say? I know a boy who simply loves a bit of unnecessary risk. Maroth, Maroth, danger, danger. My will be here in no time. Did someone say danger? I love a bit of unnecessary risk. Something very dangerous might be about to happen. 
So who better to lead the way than you and Sultan going to dig a tunnel? He needs your help. You have a plan for every occasion, Lulu. Right then, Zuljan, Mauroth, you begin. You may begin whenever you're ready. All right. Go forth, my friends. Break through the earth and link this river to the lake below. All righty. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's finish up the water here. Let's change to the hammer. And here we go. Ah. Aha! I think I just discovered the source of those sinister gurgling noise. There was water trapped within the earth. Well, that puts my mind at ease. I feared there might be encountered monsters silly me. You may proceed with the excavation at your leisure. I can't go any further here? Uh, apparently not. Apparently not. Maybe we just gotta go around. Uh-oh. Some merlisks appear? Where did these gunky good-for-nothing come from? Egads! The gurgling wasn't made by water. It was the fault of these foul fiends all along. What are they doing in here? Well, whatever their reason, we need to get rid of these slimy slugs sharpish. Uh, they're all trapped in a hole, man. This is gonna be a slaughter. I almost feel bad for them. The Merlisks are defeated. That's a weird word. Alright. Is there gonna be more, I wonder? Also, I'm stealing this seaweed. That should do it for the water flowing. Yeah! <laughs> you look at that! Would you look at that? We got ourselves our very own waterfall. Yeah, it's all coming from the sky. Alright. And we should be able to put some water like right here too. I think we're full. Let's talk to Bonanzo now. He did it! Zuljin, the river has reunited. It feels so good. Now I want to see all these falls in their glory. Let us descend and enjoy the view with the others. Alright. So that quest is done. And the river is 97% done. One heck of a view. This new river's bombing brilliant. You really know how to make a splash, Zuljin. Indeed, these new waterways have really blown my expectations out of the water. Hang on, I'm sensing a strange aura, and it's moving sideways. Over there. Crabs! Uh-oh. A boss crab? Crabs! Icky, yucky, mucky crabs! Crabs are delicious. Thought they'd come and cool off in our new pool, did they? Careful, Zuljin. Don't let them get you in a pincer attack. Oh, stop waffling and get rid of them, will you? I demand steamed crab claws for my supper. Oh, God. All right. Wow. Get one shot at sucker. <laughs> Get needled. Well, that was extremely easy. <laughs> that sucker just got nailed, man. Oh. Malroth Zuljin. Thanks for taking care of those pesky crustaceans. I wonder what put them in such a crabby mood, though. Oh god, the puns are crazy. Don't look at me like that. It was just a joke, all right? So if it weren't my best, maybe I was clutching at claws if I thought that was funny. Yes, well, more important matters. There are a lot more wild monsters here, uh, aren't there? Slimes, iron ants, merlus, the list goes on. They do not seem to be affiliated with the children of Hargon yet. They pose the threat nonetheless. We must remain vigilant. Luckily... We have Maurol to protect us. Without you, we would be crab food, quite literally. Listen, Maurol did good work, but I one-shotted the sucker. You may not be a born builder, but your martial prowess is beyond reproach. Me? Protect you? I don't think so. I only look out for my friends, and I don't make friends with bearded bumpkins. 
Wow. Let's not fight you two. Let's get back to admiring our amazing river. <laughs> Malroth's got such a mean streak to him. He is the Lord of Destruction, after all. It's just so beautiful. If only we could enjoy the beauty if it wasn't raining. I know. Okay, I'll stop complaining about raining. But god dang it, it rains a lot. That's a big old river. And we'd never done it without your magic pot, soldier. And my expert guidance, of course. Thanks to my thorough investigation, we now have not one but my uh, two mighty rivers. Maybe it was the cabbage encrusted soup strainer of yours, but I was more than a little wary of you at first, Bonanzo. Perhaps you're not so bad after all. But this is just the start. Seeing all this water around makes me want to build some new fields and farmhouses to make use of. I know who can take care of that. Zuljin, the crowd, the crown builder of Lulutopia and nature maker extraordinaire. <laughs> Jesus, the Lulutopia thing has got to stop. <laughs> And I know how to make something new. A rubber ring. An inflatable instrument that will help keep your head above water. Tablet targets. Make a river is complete. Perfect. Oh, another challenge complete, I see. Cracking job, Zildjian. Well, would you look at that? It's a mini metal. That's my tenth one. I should be able to get a bow now. Toodle pip for now. We have our rivers, meadows, and a wood. Why I think this means we completed all three of the challenges from the tablet. Ugh. Is something to matter, Maroth? Aren't you happy we were able to complete the tasks? No, it's not that. It's just... It's just I'm getting this funny feeling in the pit of my stomach. What's happening? Are you alright? You're just feeling all upset because you can't make nothing, are you? I'm sure you'll get the hang of it soon, Malroth. After all, you've got Zuljin to show you the ropes. Would you look at that? Uh, just look at what he helped us create. Have you checked your map recently, Zuljin? I think the bird's eye view of our surroundings would greatly hammer home just how much things have changed. We knew full well with the wizard at uh, the workbench, but we never knew you were a worker of natural wonders as well. I'm so proud of you. As your moth, no, as your fa- no elder brother figure i cannot help but bask in your reflected glory yeah man let's keep up the glory coming even though they made all this legit nature and stuff i still want to make more meadows and woods are all well and good but if we want to make this place truly special we should think about branching out that's a cracking idea i reckon it's high time to lead off the island and hunt for a few new mates and materials first things first perry now that we've completed every target on the tablet we should take another look at it and see what it has to say. They want me to get a bow for the next area is what I'm thinking. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, we already know what it all looks like. Let's, uh, let's go here. Alright, so we've got the mini medals. How will you complete the challenges set out on the stone tablet and make the island into a pastoral paradise? I wonder. Time to rack the brain of yours. Uh, give mini medals. Ho ho, the mini medals tick tick tickled your fancy? It's good to know we share some common interests. You see, I'm rather an avid collector. Okay, we already know. Alright, let's see now. You've got three mini medals there. Take them if you don't mind. For hitting ten medals, I'll give you a bow. Oh, I thought it was a bow and arrow. It's actually a bow, like a bow tie. As things stand, you brought me a total of ten medals. Make it 14 and I'll teach you the recipe for sets of Middenhall garb. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, it's all clothes and stuff. Not that that's terrible, but a bow? Come on, man. Come on. So did he give me the recipe for a bow or an actual bow? It looks like he gave me a recipe for a bow because I don't have anything right there to make on it. All right, let's see here. So from the looks of it, I don't have it in my inventory, and if I go into building, we can set, um, it says we have new recipes here. We can make this rubber ring. Let's make one of these. And... There's no bow, y'all. There's a lot of locked stuff. Where the heck is the bow? I absolutely do not see it. 
I I really have no idea to tell you the truth. Huh. Okay, all the tablet targets are complete. Ground around the tablet is cracked and dry. It'd be better if it was wetter. Zuljin feels a powerful force emanating from the tablet. Congratulations, Ojin. I don't know what the tablet's done to you, but you look a little taller. Huh? You certainly smashed those challenges. As I explained before, these tablets are the last creations of the legendary builder who once made this place his home. It's a magic will transform your thoughts into target challenges that you must master if you want to grow as a builder. My lord and master, hear me. Ooh. Did you just say something? Hear me, Malroth. Hear me, O oh my master of destruction. Oh, snap. Who is this? What do you want? As the builder's powers of creation grow, so too will your powers of destruction. Look, I don't know who the heck you are or what the heck you're talking about, but... You know, you feel it. When you witness great deeds of creation, a fearsome force stirs within you. Ugh. Ooh. Maroth becomes stronger. Magnificent. Use that power. Help the Builder to fulfill his aims. Why won't you tell me who you are? I'm the creator of this world. Your most faithful servant, and your dearest friend. O oh, mighty Malroth, master of destruction, I await the day you awaken once more. Are you alright, Malroth? Who in the world are you talking to? Oh, so nobody else heard it? I don't know, but who cares? All I know is that I feel stronger than ever, so anyone who stands in Zuljin's way better watch out. Most reassuring, Malroth, my boy. I have the utmost confidence that you'll protect him to the best of your ability. Zuljin, come up to the temple when you have a moment to spare. There's a little side project I'd like you to have a crack at. As for us furrowfield farmers, we're rather taken by this lovely area of land. and quite reminds us of home. We've decided to move in permanently. Oh yes, it's the perfect place to start a farm. Imagine if it's the whole place filled with fields and farmyards. My agriculture imagination is running wild. And I want to start cooking again. I shall need an even bigger and better kitchen than before you built with my sister on Furrowfield. It would seem your work is not done yet. I trust we can rely on you for all our building needs, Zuljin. <coughs> Tablet targets completed. Hmm? Is something the matter, Zuljin? What, don't tell me. You want to stick around here a little longer and build the place up? I should never have assumed otherwise. You truly are a builder to the very core. In that case, check the stone tablet again. Maybe in for a little treat. Oh, snap. New targets materialize on the tablet. Optional, build lots of different rooms. Optional, build a restaurant. Optional, build a room somewhere up high. Optional, make lots of meadows. Make lots of forests. Make lots of water. <laughs> Optional, find more residents. One more resident, 14 of 15. Optional, light up the island. Optional, build a farm. Optional, build lots of fields. Zero of 300, holy cow. That's a lot of building. Make all sorts of food. Jeez. Well, did your heart start <laughs> beating faster? Will you check, check the tablet again? It's been filled with all your new ideas. Goodness me, that's a lot of new targets you've come up with. You really are a builder through and through. The best builders have the loftiest ambitions. Should you choose to follow the optional targets, this island will be a picturesque paradise before you know it. They do tend to take a while though, so don't feel like you have to begin right away. They'll be ready and waiting whenever you have time. As for me, I'll be waiting for you at the top of the mountain. Pop up when you have when you're ready for a new task. I wonder what this new task could be. Is it something to do with these new targets? You think, or something completely different? Target practice. 
Uh, look at all those targets. If you've ever at a loose end as to what to do or build on the Island of Awakening, why not give one of these targets a go? All right. <clears throat> well, that sounds actually pretty cool. The old Hammerhood told us to haul it up to the top of the mountain to the temple. Sh shall we go and see what he wants? I want to hear what that mad monster has to say, too. I intend to be right beside you when he spills the beans. All right, then, Zuljin. Let's go up together and hear what he has to say. So let's just uh, let's just teleport up there, huh? I should congratulations on you on your ticking off the targets on the tablet, Zuljin. Congratulations. As you're well aware, this island is yours and yours alone. You're free to build whatever you like and whack it down whenever you like with whoever you like. You heard me right. You're already familiar with the notice board, but there's another way to con connect with other builders across the space-time continuum. There are many others out there who share the same creative passion as you, but how to build, track, track, track them down? Why, multi-builder mode, of course. You remember where you and Mauroth thumped that fat rat on the night you arrived here? Well, it just so happens that this cave is home to a magical portal that can whisk you away to the homes of other builders. If that tickles your fancy, <laughs> should head down to the cave and embark on your maiden journey through space and time teleportal. So if I understand you correctly, we could use this portal to bring in other builders who will help us build Lulutopia together. And Zuljin can visit other people's islands and steal some great ideas for making the Empire of Evisceration even more deadly. I can't think of a few things that are more enjoyable than building and bashing blocks with all one's friends. You should give it a go. Right now, you've got that out. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'd say that it's high time you bolted off to a new island in search of fresh adventures. Go and speak with the captain on the docks. A little bird tells me he has some top-notch news for you. If you ever want to learn more about multi builder mode, all you have to do is ask. Rock up here and talk to me anytime you like. All right. So his whole deal was talking about multi-builder mode, getting a teleportal set up, and that's not something that I'm going to work on. I just like to progress through the story and, of course, do some building uh, around town, too. So we could set up some buildings, like, um, mainly to have uh, some rooms for everybody and a kitchen. That way, everybody could kind of coexist here without us really worrying about too much, you know? And all of this area is free to do it with but I might do it over there where uh, the other stuff is so instead of just building right here I might build up there because uh, we already have the greenery set up we already have some waterways set up and stuff if we can make it flat enough I think it would be fine up there but I think that's gonna be it for today's episode you guys I hope you all enjoyed it if you did give me some dap on that like button to show you support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos thanks so much for watching as always this is Ulgen signing off and we'll see you next time Break it down.